Hi, Ulrich, you can hear us, right? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I will start the webinar in three, two, one, now. So dear everyone, welcome to this month's edition of the DSSC Insights Series the monthly webinar series which is organized by the Data Space Support Center. We know there's many of you today, so thank you for tuning in. This month's webinar is one of the most anticipated ones, entitled The Road to the Data Space Symposium. We hope it will be a nice tease of what is awaiting for you in Darmstadt from the 12th to the 14th of March at the world's largest conference on data spaces. Now, I know most people in the room already have the ticket for the conference, but I'm very happy to announce you that you can still have the, you can still uh, get your ticket for the Data Space and Symposium. You can do so by scanning the QR code in the slide, or you can do so by uh, registering through a link that will be posted in the chat by my colleagues. Now, before introducing our esteemed guest, uh, I have a few housekeeping rules for this webinar. The first one is that this webinar is recorded and it will be available through a social media channel uh, after in, in the following days. The second one is that you have the chance to ask questions uh, during the webinar at, at the end of the webinar. You can do so in the chat and all the uh, during the webinar and all the unanswered questions will be dealt with in a dedicated Q&A session at the end of the webinar. So stay until the very end because we will uh, have a very nice and interesting discussion. So now I'm very honored to introduce the guest for today's webinar, the guest speaker. So we have Gianfranco Cecconi, the executive director for the uh, Data Spaces Support Center. We have also the leaders of the Data Space Business Alliance. We have Anna Garcia, secretary general at the Big Data Value Association. We have Ulrich Ale, chief executive officer at the Gaia X Association. We have Andrea Battaglia, Chief Executive Officer at the Fowler Foundation. And last but, not, last but not least, we have Lars Nagel, Chief Executive Officer at the International Data Spaces Association. Today's webinar will be a bit interactive. All the speakers will, uh, will, 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 be, uh, will not be separated and we will speak in, um, in, uh, in a close sequence one after the other. And the agenda will, del will deal with the this the following topic. We will first start with an introduction on the Data Spaces Business Alliance and the Data Space Support Center. Then we will have we will talk about the 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 DSSC deliverables, the community, and the DSSC conference that will take place at the Data Space Symposium. We will have the the dedicated part on the DSBA partner and the contribution to the Data Spaces Symposium. And then, as mentioned, we will have a dedicated Q&A session. Now, enough for my uh, introduction. Uh, I am uh, I'm very honored to open the floor and then uh, and give the floor to Lars. Thank you, Anna, for that great introduction and uh, welcome all of you to, uh, to this uh, webinar. And it is great to have you in our ecosystem. And that is exactly with what I would like to start. Um, why have we been gathering here all together? Because we all believe in something. Uh, we believe in the future and we believe in that data spaces will make that future a better one. We believe in data spaces as an enabler for future wealth, uh, doing uh, something better for uh, economy, for society, for all of us. Uh, therefore, well, this is uh, quite a big goal and we need all players that we can have. And that is exactly why we have uh, two years ago created the Data Space Business Alliance, because we have found four friends. So each of un us has found three friends to be uh, exact, uh, and that share the same mission, the same objective. Um, we want to make this data space idea really happen and fly. And well, why these four? Well, we are of the same uh, nature when it comes to neutral neutrality, international and member-driven and consensus based. That is what we are doing. So um, on the other hand side, we complement each other. So there's no overlap uh, and it needs a lot of forces 
to really build that new paradigm for data spaces. Um, this is the first bullet point that you can see here. Um, we have agreed to come up with one architecture. So any end user of a data space shall not ask like, well, how do I build it? Do I have to go here or there? No, you need to have like one architecture so that it's really seamless and just usable. Um, that is what we show with the tech convergence uh, document where we explain how that works. Um, and then it's still a new thing, a paradigm shift for data economy, what we are doing. And therefore we need to speak with one voice. We have to target a really big audience from society via politics up to business. So therefore uh, we need to catch everyone that we can get with one joint message. And it's an ecosystem game. We are, well, organizations uh, that have as a mission to, well, uh, push everyone in the ecosystem. Um, but we need to make use of uh, those who work on the forefront, uh, on uh, in the regions, in the countries, uh, in the cities, so in the ecosystem where value creation happens. So therefore, uh, we make and we need, we make use of and we need our hubs. And we have more than 100 hubs all over the world that can help us spreading the message. And all of this is based on strong support from our members. And this is also incredibly unique. Altogether, the four DSBA partners, we combine more than 1,000 members, 1,000 organizations that are following our path, uh, speak with one voice, build upon that one architecture and make our core belief happen that data spaces will be a big thing. And with that, I would like to hand over to more details uh, on DSBA. Yes, so Anna. I think yeah. Anna is, uh, I hand over the floor to you to go a bit more in details. Thank you very much, Anna, and I'm really glad to be here uh, sharing the online uh, floor today with uh, with uh, GaiaX, uh, IDSA and Fiverr, and very soon uh, with, uh, with you all and uh, in person in Darmstadt. And uh, very connected to the what uh, Lars has been explaining. So since the very beginning, since we started uh, to collaborate together, uh, we really wanted to make things happen. And uh, what you see now here is quite a historical picture, but it's very, very important because it, it gives us uh, different messages. Um, first, um, as soon as we met, we started these projects and we decided to join forces for the Data Spaces Support Center. That today, I mean, we are all part of the Data Spaces Support Center. We have Gianfranco representing the project, but it was very important when we started, first to acknowledge that there are many others as well we wanted to collaborate with and that we took uh, with us uh, for the for this big adventure of the Data Spaces Support Center. Uh, so the message is we, we really build forces, not only with other important associations as my data, but with very uh, important um, relevant RTOs in the arena of the data spaces, other organizations also uh, in consultancy and support. And because, uh, you know, there are so many people with knowledge and with interest, we grow, we are growing con continuously all our communities. Um, but it was very important since day one to build this together. Also, another important message is this complementary. This picture is old, it's a very, uh, it's a simplification. But from day one, we wanted to make sure uh, that we walk this path together, but also complementing each other, looking at where we have overlaps and solving those. And uh, well, I hope also today we give you uh, through um, the upcoming slides, very good uh, information in, in how we complement each other and how we build this into the data space symposium. Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, I'd like to hand the floor to Ulrich now. Yeah, and I would like to explain why we are uh, doing this. And uh, with the first click, we see that uh, we started uh, in the digitization of the business processes in different domains with one-to-one -one interfaces. I just had yesterday a meeting with a guy from Sweden, from Odette, and uh, he was one of the 
people who invented 40 years ago uh, EDI, electronic data interchange. And with the next click, we see what we have been working on for the last, let's say, two decades, uh, connecting few to few. So moving from one to one to few to few while creating digital platforms. So having a few, and if that are a few thousand, that's uh, still okay, sources of data and users of data connected to a digital platform, always already known sources and uh, users of data. And uh, GDPR, with the next click, uh, paved the way also to integrate personal data. But our step we are now doing together here in this uh, economy with the partners of the Data Spaces Business Alliance, but also the whole ecosystem is to pave the way for data spaces. And we see this on the next click with the ambition to connect many to many and also providing the ability to connect before not known sources and users of data by an automated identification and authorization of sources and users of data. And we are doing this at least in Europe, and we see it with the next clicks, um, based on the Data Governance Act, on the Data Act, so based on a European legislation, similar as other ecosystems are doing um, uh, things into this direction uh, based on different legislations. For example, Japan is uh, quite uh, following the way we are doing here in Europe. And the next click shows us that especially for this automation, for this interoperability, standardization is important. Standard interfaces, standard data models, standard kinds of authorization. And uh, to close my part, with all our activities here, with our activities to create data spaces, we are paving the way and we are preparing the baseline for the usage of artificial intelligence. Because AI demands data, and with data spaces, we are providing access to this data. And, and that's the final click, the uh, AI Act of the European uh, Union, of the European Commission, provides also this frame in the future, how to use artificial intelligence when using data provided by data spaces. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ulrich. Uh, then I would like to hand the floor for the last segment of the first part, which is for Andrea. Thank you, Anna. Um, and thanks to my peer for, for sharing their feedback and, uh, and view. Uh, and thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, I joined Fiverr as a CEO quite recently, just actually beginning of the year. And I've been uh, flattered also to join the Data Spaces Business Alliance. I clearly see that the aim of this alliance is to play a pivotal role in the creation of business value, <clears throat> creating a business value in, in the data space. Um, if I think of what has been done together with the SSC in the last years, um, it's really exciting uh, the vision we all together are trying to create. Diversity in an ecosystem play is crucial. It's not just about diversity of technologies. It's about diversity of um, perspective, business and technical need, diversity of technologies all together um, interchangeable and interoperable in a technical environment that has a value to the business. Um, what we are trying to do here as an effort is not to, to just to quote my, uh, my peers, um, is not just to create the technology for all, is to give a guidance, is to um, transform the vision into tools for our ecosystem and the entire uh, um, business ecosystem at the global level to succeed. Not just to monetize on data, but also, uh, again, to uh, work on the uh, operational and systemic sustainability. So to make 
uh, a better world uh, that also has its foundation on open source technology. Um, let me also add um, my very, very personal uh, two cents on this as a uh, former technologist. It is fantastic to see that we are receiving contribution indeed from the business area of open source, but also from the pure force area of open source. This means um, that the, uh, the environment we started building together a few years ago and we are now trying to foster is open, open to contribution, open to feedback, and looking forward to having all of you contributing and working together on the next version of the technical conversions document, uh, business vision, uh, go-to-market activities, and so on and so forth. With this, uh, over to you, Anna. Thanks again for having me here. So I muted myself uh, as usual. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrea. Now, uh, just a nice transition to uh, the, one of the key aspects of the Data Space Symposium, which is the role of the conference, uh, the, the DSSC annual conferences. So I will hand, like, hand over the next part to Gianfranco. Thanks, Anna. And, and listening to my colleagues, it's, it's quite amazing to think how much power there is in working together. And the, already in the chat, someone was commenting, yes, but there is one symposium, two symposium, which is it? No, no, there's, we're not talking, it's not like political parties or something. We're working together here, right? There's no particular reason to fragment the effort we're putting. Each of us has the strengths or the areas of focus, but the potential we can achieve by working together Possibly it was never stronger. Some of our organization, I, I also am in IDSA like Lars, have been around for several years, like eight, I believe in our case. It, it's a lot of time and, and there's a lot of history there, but perhaps never before uh, today, we could work together that well. And we have also the support of the uh, European Commission more than ever. And if you allow me, and I will take control of the screen so I can continue from there. Let me see through this one. So can you see my, my screen? I presume, yes. Okay, so uh, what is Data Space Support Center? First of all, uh, welcome again. Uh, I'm here filling in for uh, Project Director Professor Boris Otto from of ISST, who could not be with us uh, today. The project uh, of that we call Data Space Support Center of the SSC is something that we have the ambition to make into the European blueprint for trusted and sovereign data sharing in uh, data spaces. It's it's a duty, it's, it's a mandate, it's a mission we gave ourselves. We try not to be too arrogant in saying that, but together with the strength of the organization that make us, uh, the SBA, together with other uh, eight, and uh, the mission of the European Commission, they support, uh, the, the SSC becomes one of the best, uh, humbly, uh, uh, context, environments, uh, cat, uh, catalyzers by which we can bring all of that knowledge and, and produce the guidance that the data spaces of today needs. Um, the event, the symposium, is possibly one of our best instruments to to reach our audience and disseminate what we do. It's not the first time we run one of these. Uh, we, the first time uh, was last year in uh, Den Haag in the Netherlands, and this year we go uh, to Germany. We try to bring to the event uh, thought leaders, innovators, policymakers, anyone who can contribute to accelerate that process by which we understand how data sharing can be done in ways that is trustworthy and, and sovereign uh, or self-determining for the people and the organizations involved, uh, the host, the SBA, and, and ourselves as the SSC. And we are really trying to make this a universal kind of event through uh, the elements of policy and governance to the elements of business, Technology talks for the techies, uh, <laughs> technology talk for the business people among us um, with a kind of um, a bit of a flavor uh, on top of it to be aware of the environmental impact and the societal impact of what we can do. Uh, all of this becomes the event we organize for you. And a lot of effort goes into that. So please appreciate us and, and, and stay with us and come and visit. But we gave ourselves that kind of uh, three words, I should go back one. Why we gave ourselves that unite, innovate, uh, adopt uh, slogan. Uh, the unite element is, is it resounds with the European Union 
uh, that fund the, the project to exist in the first place. And by the way, this is not the first time the Commission is committed to uh, support the development of uh, data sharing and data spaces. Uh, we we are we are building this on the uh, shoulders of giants. Several uh, other projects and other program existed before us. Ours is the first that is focused specifically on uh, data spaces. And the ones who of us of you who had the opportunity to follow us in the past, you know that we've been around for a while. We started in October twenty twenty two, when we built. Uh, the first network, particularly through the, uh, the work of uh, BDBA, Anna, and the other colleagues in that area of the project, we started creating guidance for our uh, data spaces, the ones funded by the EU that start building uh, and designing the experience and the CSAs, we, we call them sometimes coordinated support action, those kinds of projects aimed at exploration, preparing for the actual deployment of a real data space. Last year, uh, in October, we uh, released the first, uh, the biggest uh, deliverable we have in our uh, pockets. And in this first explorative version, what we call the blueprint, it's simply a collection of this functional description of the main elements you would expect in designing a data space. And I, I'm flying very, very fast here because there's so much work we've done. And the symposium in a way becomes one more venue by which we can bring to you what we've done since then. Uh, what's coming to the symposium this year, uh, updated and expanded version of the uh, DSSC resources that you use already. Uh, some of you in the audience, I'm sure, have been with us for a long time. You will get new versions of the Blueprint, for example. Uh, but there are also new uh, resources for you, uh, what we call the co-creation method, something many of you have asked. So this is a sort of a approach by which you can proceed to bring together those building blocks that you find in the Blueprint and the toolbox that will be for the first time bringing us closer uh, to where the rubber meets the road, the software and the digital services that are available uh, to you to actually build those uh, data spaces. Now, I cannot say too much because otherwise, what's the point, right? We will not be joining us in a few weeks from now, so we'll stop there. Uh, however, uh, it's useful to remind you why uh, we need an event and why we need a three event. Uh, why innovating? And the same reason, simply because none of us has all the answers alone. Uh, in the first day that we will tell you more uh, later in, in this program, uh, our colleagues from the SBA will describe exactly how uh, the potential of our synergy through the events of the individual organizations in that day will be able to uh, meet again the audience that we have already in our organizations and also bring new colleagues and new friends uh, on board. On day two, what we call the visionary day, why innovating? Because we can leverage the vision and the experience of others. And that is where we bring uh, the, the, the experts, the visionary element of it, companies and organizations who have launched uh, data spaces operations across the world, <laughs> from Japan to Europe, and Europe is too easy perhaps for us, uh, to the Americas. And in March 14th, instead is when we think a bit closer to the uh, data space support center and the kind of offer we, we give you because the EU through the work of, of myself, my team, our colleagues in the SBA is really enabling us to push forward and fast. Um, uh, Professor Otto always says, we have a sort of a responsibility to move fast. It, it, the, the, the achievements we can reach by sharing data in a way that we don't do today enough could really uh, not only open up more business, but address so many of those societal challenges uh, that we are facing today. You will find the program in detail on the website, so it's not useful that I take you through it too much in detail. Day two, as I said earlier, is really for the le high level keynotes and the inspirational element of it. Uh, we really try to collect major players from around the globe, um, you will find on a stage from our colleagues and friends in the European Commission to data spaces across the world. I, I don't want to repeat myself too much, so I'll, I'll, I'll go brief on this. But the element for that, the one I'm seeking from this day, is the success stories and the focus on the industries. That is where also the business model of sharing needs to work for them to be sustainable and, and motivated to exist. The European Data Spaces Day, or the annual event of the Data Space Support Center, is to better understand the European data strategy and its data space ambition. And all of the supporting action that you, 
can benefit from, not just the SSC, but there's an entire portfolio of projects that Europe is uh, operating for you. Um, the activities that we also do for coordinating and harmonize the many data spaces initiatives funded by the EU are finding a nice venue to meet in the event. Many of them will be on stage with us. That is also quite nice to do, uh, not meeting them regularly, if not just online. And of course, all of this becomes a pretext to learn from them, uh, learn from the experience and the success stories of these initiatives, many of which have already more than one year of history. Some others are starting. All of this is incredibly useful uh, for us to learn from and capture and bring back to you. In fact, <laughs> while adopting, because what Data Space Support Center knows is actually what you know. Uh, uh, a bit selfish about it, we need you to be at the event because we are also learning from you, not just to you from us. So please uh, be uh, vocal, be loud, uh, and come and see us at the um, expo area as well, where we will have uh, a booth. You will find me as well there if you like. Um, there is no excuse to wait building data spaces. As much as you may still have concern or are still learning, there is so much support around at the moment, and several of the technology all of us organizations are working on is becoming so much more mature that really I believe you don't have an excuse. And by putting them to the test, you will actually uh, make them even more robust. We will learn from them and we'll iterate again once more. So um, come to the booth, uh, say hello <laughs> or rant a little. I'm sure many of you will also need to uh, let it out and, and share with us uh, and, and be the experts uh, together with us uh, at the event. Um, take a picture of this, um, a bonanza of QR codes, all the information you need if you can't travel to Darmstadt, uh, where to find our newsletter, how to get involved with our project, uh, where to find all of our resources, the knowledge base, and finally, how to ask for support. Well, the, the link at the bottom is simply to, to get your ticket to secure uh, before we run out of them. But Anna, back to you. Thank you very much, Gianfranco. Uh, I hope everybody took the picture of the this slide because it has a lot of valuable information. So I will take over the screen sharing again. And okay, hope you'll see this. Now I'm very happy to guide you to the let's say second last part of this webinar, and I am happy to um, go in a bit more details on what is the first partner day or kickoff day, as Gianfranco called it, going to look like with all the contribution from the DSBA organization and introduce. And so I will have another round of introduction from the DSBA leaders, and we can start now with Lars. So great. So. Um... Well, we, we are gonna present you what our organizations will bring to Darmstadt these days. And uh, on the first day, we will have our um, uh, uh, respective events uh, in parallel. And we join forces from time to time with, a, uh, with some of the other organizations. And the second day is uh, what we are organizing together. And we bring in all the best from our four organizations uh, to Darmstadt. So now I take my hat off uh, IDSA. Um, so, well, what can, can you expect from IDSA to be brought to Darmstadt? Well, you see here our strategy slide. So what we are doing, um, so read it from left uh, to right first. So we are building data spaces and uh, thinking about data spaces since uh, over eight years. And we try to find consensus and harmonization on the very, very fundamental principles of data spaces from a mostly a technical, um, semantical, uh, and a bit organizational perspective. And you see that in the rule book, reference architecture. And we are currently squeezing and distilling that uh, into the data space protocol, which is the core asset of IDSAs to guarantee baseline uh, interoperability uh, on, on the technical level. And then we can build, uh, not we, you, can build software based on this um, and take that as uh, the foundation for, for building data spaces. And then you need components 
uh, from other organizations, from our friends here in the DSPA, and even more from the data space uh, support center blueprint. Um, so you need, well, a lot of ingredients to cook really uh, tasty um, and delicious dishes. So therefore we are striving for uh, consensus and harmonization uh, in DSBA and in the DSSC and even more, we are bringing that to global standardization. So you can see all of this uh, in Darmstadt. Uh, we will essentially bring uh, these four things uh, on stage. So you will learn uh, a lot about technology, software and services. So all these pioneering uh, solutions that you need uh, to really start with data sharing. Um, and you can see, well, latest insights on the uh, EDC, the data space operating system from ZF, the Soviet e connector as a service, the Fireware data space connector, the new certified telecom connector, uh, Huawei solution, KPN solution. Uh, also, we show how the Gaia X digital clearinghouse uh, meets the data space protocol. And then we will shed a light on the business benefits, uh, provide you with a lot of data space case studies. So the big data spaces that are already uh, on, uh, on the run, so to say, so SCSN, Data EX from Japan, Catena X, but also Volkswagen Strategy, uh, Telecom, Data Intelligence Hub, uh, everything around the Green Deal data space, uh, and well, mainly the telcos perspective. At the end, uh, we, we will show how uh, the data space protocol um, really uh, allows us uh, to, to make inter data spaces interoperability happen. Uh, we will show that, for example, with the International Data Spaces Testbed at the University of Tokyo, and we will show how SCSN in the Netherlands speaks with Catena X uh, in uh, Germany and in Japan. And you can also expect more insights on IDSA, like our uh, data space body of knowledge and the training program together with it, how personal data and uh, industrial data, well, cannot be differentiated anymore and how we can take care of that. And for sure, standardization at ISO, Sensenelec, uh, and other bodies. So really looking forward to, well, share all these thoughts with you and to meet you in Darmstadt. Thank you very much, Lars. I now hand the floor to uh, Andrea. Thank you, Anna. Um, if you could yeah. go, thank you, thank you very much. So um, to continue uh, and connect to the my previous pitch, this is all about an ecosystem play. Because even though we uh, fostered the creation of technology for uh, the future of uh, data economy, um, it is always the ecosystem and eventually, and customers as well, who give value to the technology. Because they use the technology, eventually they pay for it, uh, the IP is generated. So if you could uh, go to the next click, I would like to um, talk for a few seconds about Fiber 2.0. Fiber is very well acknowledged uh, as the technology leader for providing the factor standards on that exchange. Um, and smart cities and smart applications. We are going to do more. We are going to introduce to our audience during the day one uh, of the DSS, so the Data Space Symposium event, uh, what we are trying to achieve together with a broader ecosystem, uh, with a broader um, community, the Fiware uh, Foundation, uh, continuously develops together with uh, the fiber labs, the fiber i hubs, the fiber accelerates. So our our uh, startups and also the universities and also um, our members. So we are going to expand this, bringing in and in turn bringing to the audience of the DSS event uh, very very different uh, but um, passionate uh, visions and perspectives. All this, this ecosystem and community play just to go to the next click. So to work together on something that I'm used to call operating sustainability. Fireware collaborates with several um, consortiums to project like, projects like Battery Bus, 
that are trying to um, create standards for important things like circular economy, power consumption control, computing efficiency. This is something you can measure. This is something we have to measure if you want to give uh, a powerful and valuable tool to our ecosystem and our community. But it's also something more. If you go to the next click, Anna, please. There is something that we call systemic sustainability. So again, the technology and, and the value we give has to be the tool for a greater value, uh, which is more into innovation, optimization, and uh, workforce development and well-being. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much, Andrea. And I think now I hand the floor to Ulrich. Yeah, with this coming to uh, Gaia X, the youngest kid on the block or in this uh, partnership uh, with a vision to enable trusted decentralized digital ecosystems. That's why Gaia X was uh, created. And it is our mission to create the de facto standards aligned with the European values by developing a set of policies, rules, specification, and also a verification framework. Uh, to verify and to certify all of this. With this, it's uh, our goal to establish an ecosystem whereby data is shared and made available in a trustworthy environment. And it is our ambition to give control back to those who are creating data and allowing them to benefit from the value of their data. And the outcome of that will be a federated system, a federation of uh, cloud service providers, of uh, data providers. And uh, um, some people still think Gaia X will be the next cloud service provider. We are not a cloud service provider. We are also not a formal standardization body, but we are working together with our partners here in the Data Spaces Business Alliance and the Data Spaces uh, Support Center on the definition of standards and then using formal standardization bodies to bring this to formal standards. So what we are delivering is specifications, code, and also labels. These labels are a certification of the usage and the application of the before mentioned rules and definitions. And uh, our contribution to the Data Spaces Symposium, um, especially on the first day, will we will have the Market X event. So it's uh, the second version of the, this event we had for the first time in Vienna, now in combination with the Data Spaces Symposium, bringing together projects, Gaia X hubs, and also ecosystems, how we call the different verticals we have within the GAIA-X organization. So for mobility, for industry, for uh, smart cities, and so on. Uh, some of our members will contribute to the exhibition, which will be a common exhibition open for all the three days. And the main content to be expected on the first day on the GAIA-X part of it uh, will be an update on the overall GAIA-X framework a deep dive on the uh, Gaia-X digital clearinghouse, so one of the core components of uh, Gaia-X. Then the new Gaia-X Institute, which will be announced in Darmstadt. And finally, several examples of real-world implementations of projects, but also of uh, operatively running, up and running data spaces. And uh, for those who are members of Gaia-X, or will become member until the symposium. The first day will be free of charge. So we are more than happy to provide you a discount code for the first day. And for all participants, not only the GAIA-X participants, but all participants of the symposium, GAIA-X is inviting you on the evening of the first day to a reception, not in the same building as on that day, we have to leave the building at six, but uh, Anna, I think just uh, three walking minutes away, uh, we rented another uh, venue and uh, we are more than welcome, uh, more than happy to welcome you for a reception starting at uh, 6 p.m. That's from my side. Thank you very much, 
Ulrich, and thank you for the update on MarketX. And now I think uh, the floor is yours, Anna. Thank you. And no clicks are necessary. This goes <laughs> alone, and although it will take its own pace. So now I will say a few words about BDVA and our contribution, and you will see also how we complement very much the others. So first, our focus clearly unlocking data value and artificial intelligence. So we are really focused on the on the value creation. Uh, we are also membership organization, 250 members, combining industry and research. And we have a strong focus on bringing research and innovation into action, into the market, into value. Uh, but we connect very much these two, two parts, research and innovation and impact. Our community collaborates really uh, with many different projects. So we are a community of members and also projects, hundreds of projects that really bring value um, uh, towards the present and the future. We also believe very much in, in the ecosystem perspective, but that's what we have been building since the beginning with members, projects, collaborations, infrastructures, and a very important pillar of our work now is also the ethics. Um, and now to give you some more uh, information that will help to see what we do in the event. So our members collaborate uh, in what we call the task forces. That is really the topics of common interest for our members. And uh, we will see a few examples in the symposium. And uh, through this collaboration, they co-create uh, projects. We leverage all the value of those projects, create new frameworks, uh, new tools, uh, and also um, a lot of guidelines for industry and policy makers for the future. On the ecosystem perspective, uh, I want to emphasize our network of hubs that we call iSpaces. They need to go through a very, um, really uh, difficult quality label to become an, uh, a VDVA hub. And we are very proud of this community that is actually federated and is helping SMEs, startups, and building regional ecosystems through data innovation, AI experimentation, as, as I mentioned, federating all these um, communities and infrastructures at the European level. And another example that will be present in um, the symposium, uh, one of the priorities now for the community is the implementation of the, of the regulations. And we have the AI Act. We have a very active group that is working on translating European and global principles for ethical AI into actionable and measurable guidelines and tools and, and methods. So really uh, coding more from the, in the life cycle of AI uh, all the regulations and AI guidelines. And our con now I need a click, the only one, our contribution to the event. Uh, so it goes uh, throughout the, the three days uh, because we all are active contributors to the data space support center and we want to bring all the things together. But very specifically in the first day, we also uh, bring our specific value with workshops and deep dives. We also combine part of our data week that is kind of an umbrella event of different events, we bring it here. And uh, we organize uh, different workshops in three tracks covering the topics that I explained before. So we cover aspects of data, uh, data value and applications, where if you are interested in aspects of genetic AI and foundation models, how this comes into the data spaces or aspects of data monetization or how we build applications on, on data spaces, um, or, and I'm happy that I saw a lot of uh, chat uh, or messages in the chat, you are interested in, in digital twins and data spaces, or um, I'm very happy also to announce that together with Fiverr, we will organize these business applications of data for sustainability. We have an important track on engaging SMEs and startups. How do we really promote innovation? How do we boost innovation in data spaces? And for that, we have sessions exactly in what are the challenges and the tools to engage SMEs. We will have a very interesting meeting from the three or four communities uh, to start thinking about uh, the SBA hub pilot. And we will discuss topics of AI testing and data spaces, and also how to bring uh, aspects of computing, in particular supercomputing, into the whole ecosystem as well. And we finalize with the track of from regulations to implementation, covering aspects of the AI, AI implementation, uh, AI, AI Act implementation, and also very particularly topics of data quality uh, and how data spaces will help us to resolve those issues. 
and throughout the three days, aspects of innovation, adoption, applications, common European data spaces, communities, which is really important, sustainability, and together with you all, um, long-term strategy for the data spaces. And with this, Anna, I, I close my intervention and just for um, uh, on behalf of, of all of us, uh, really uh, inviting everyone to join this remarkable event because I think it's going to be a very remarkable uh, experience for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. But I also would like to thank you all the other speakers, Andrea, Gianfranco, Lars and Ulrich. We are now towards the end of this webinar. Uh, we are. I've seen that the chat is full of uh, questions that have been already addressed by uh, our, our speakers. So I take into I take this occasion to remind you a few last things. Uh, so you can see you can still grab your ticket uh, for the webinar at uh, at on the slide here. You can scan the QR code. You can also scroll the chat and see all the all the relevant links. I see my um, I see my colleagues also posted uh, a link to sign up for all of you who are already already have the ticket for the con the conference. Uh, there is a possibility to sign up for a dinner on the 13th of March. So please uh, don't miss the chance. Um, you will have the chance to also network uh, over dinner with all the participants uh, with the Data Space Symposium. You will still uh, you have the chance to go to the to the website to see the program. And we, well, what what can I say? We This event is really not to be missed. And we are all looking forward uh, to see you in Darmstadt. And we hope that with, the, with, this, with this webinar, we at least tease you a little bit to, to join the world largest conferences on data spaces. So uh, on, on this note, I see something is popping up in the, in the chat. Okay, no, just, just the contact details. Okay, uh, Pablo actually asked us if there will be any meeting with specific data spaces on Green Deal and smart cities. I think there is a lot on the, I, I, thank you, Anna. For that. I think there is a lot, uh, or, uh, like the, the Green Deal data spaces is a big topic. So uh, the, the second day we will we'll revolve around mostly about that, but also around the third day. I don't know if uh, Anna and Gianfranco would like to add anything about this or Anna, you Well, I can mention on the th uh, second day and Gianfranco can complement with the th third day. So there is actually a session on the second day in the afternoon, in particular for uh, the topics, combining the topics of the Green Deal and um, energy and um, I think mobility as well, um, or agri, I'm not sure, but combines the three domains. And then there are also specific sessions for smart cities as well. Uh, and we are actually covering five different sessions, combination of verticals that make sense, like there will be one combining cultural heritage, uh, a language data space and skills and media uh, we are combining. So everybody will have the opportunity, but also on the first day, and now Gianfranco will tell us on the third, uh, to really meet with the data spaces in the sessions. And now, Gianfranco, you can complement with the second. Yes, of course. So um, we have the European Union funded data spaces in multiple points of the program on day three, of course, because of their close connection with Data Space Support Center. Uh, we really wanted them to be on stage at the very beginning, and Anna will be their host uh, at that point in the program, but we will also have a dedicated session in the afternoon of four tracks we have, two are dedicated to them. Uh, one uh, will be uh, talking specifically, for example, about the element of synergy between data spaces, so intra-data space collaboration and how data that is sourced in different sector data spaces can actually enable perhaps the most interesting application, exactly because you take down those barriers related to thinking in terms of industry against industry against industry. This is just for convenience that they are structured that way at the moment. And another significant session uh, will be aimed at uh, discussing, for example, how uh, these data spaces from a business, perhaps it's not the right word, from an organizational perspective can be made sustainable beyond the original funding, beyond whatever the original condition that enabled their creation uh, was and when that ends and, and needs to find a new motivation, a new kind of fuel uh, to continue. Uh, we will also run an exercise that with some of the data spaces participating as actors, let's say in a role play in one of the tracks in which we will try 
uh, to build the data space in one hour. Wish us good luck with that. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if it works if you come and see. Back to you, Anna. Thank you, John Franklin. Thank you, Anna. Uh, there's a lot of comments, valuable comments in this in the chat. Uh, I see the Lars uh, wrote that essentially all current uh, current and future data spaces uh, will be in all the three days. So, uh, I mean, I don't know if Lars, you want to add something about this, but please, I invite as Lars did to reach out to us if you have a special request to meet people. Uh, then uh, I see that both Andrea and Uli uh, raised their hands. So Andrea, please uh, feel free to step in. Thank you, Anna. Um, yeah, I just wanted to announce that also in the day one, um, Fire have has already uh, invited and scheduled sessions with some special guests. We will, air, we will have the airports of Bologna in Italy who are doing uh, projects uh, with data spaces and also one of our um, members and also uh, a representative of the board of director, Team Dev, uh, who is doing a lot of work with data spaces in several areas, especially in, in smart agri-food. So um, everybody is kindly invited to join us. Thank you. Yeah, and let me add um, that uh, we will not only have uh, participants and uh, core players of data spaces in Europe. During the three days at the event, uh, we will also have people from Japan, from US, from China, and uh, all of uh, the uh, four different organizations and uh, members of the DSPA, we are uh, very global. We have uh, activities with other continents. And um, especially during the last weeks, uh, we had intense exchanges with Japan, for example, um, where um, an, uh, also an initiative started to establish data spaces, and it is our common goal to find ways to collaborate in this uh, initiatives to make them interoperable uh, to be able to digitally support global business process because a lot of our end users of the technologies we are providing uh, in these partnerships um, have global processes and they need digital solutions which are accepted and adopted on a global scale and uh, therefore this data spaces symposium is not only a european event it is a global event and uh, the key players who are working in data spaces will be in darmstadt in two weeks thank you very much Uli. Uh, i see a lot of nodding uh, so indeed that's a key point that we we all share there is a question from eric in the chat which has already been partially addressed but i think it's worth to see if anybody else has anything to add here so eric is asking any tips on how to get in touch with the consortia preparing to work for the upcoming digital calls does anybody have anything to add um on this or I guess it's just useful to take it uh, live to the conversation. Uh, both Anne and I suggested simply to meet the extra data spaces that are there. Most of them are made of organizations that may be your next partner. The membership association, the DSBA, are all made mostly of organizations that are interested in this topic and may just wait, like you, uh, to find an opportunity to, to jump in, uh, whether it is for learning or because it is very relevant to the topic. And the expo area, of course, uh, the, the ones among us, and by the way, thank you uh, if you are there, who decided to sponsor the event that is non-profit. So we, it, it really supports us to do it again next year. Uh, the ones of us who will be in uh, the expo area are for, uh, further opportunity to mingle and, and check who is interested in, in joining for the next digital horizon and the many other programs that actually are developing this space. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Gianfranco. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yes, in, indeed, very important to thank uh, our sponsors, many sponsors who stepped in, who believe in the in the power of the Data Spaces Symposium. Without you, uh, none of this would have been possible. So thank you very much. And we, all, we hope to meet you very soon in Darmstadt. Uh, if our speakers uh, do not have, do you have anything to, any last pitch or anything to add? 
Yes, we say that we are looking forward to seeing everyone in Darstan. And um, as I said, it will be a remarkable event. That's my, we need you all there to make it, to make it uh, work. So. Yeah, this Thanks is exactly, everyone for joining. Uh, this is exactly what we want to uh, underpin also with the DSBA. So everyone who, who has to uh, contribute something to the success of data spaces will be in, in Darmstadt. So the consortia, all the smart, innovative people, companies with solutions, uh, people who are uh, in the wider ecosystem from politics, society. So this is the place to be. See you there. Thank you, Lars. Oh, Gianfranco, so you're muted yourself. No. <laughs> uh, what, what can I add? I mean, just to close, I mean, most of us working in this space have, have been devoted to this topic for years. So for us, this is really important, uh, just in case you didn't get it already. Uh, so please um, contribute to whatever this movement is. The event is one of the many aspects by which we get to you. We really need to learn from you. We really need you to participate. And this is one of the many ways by which you can do it. So I hope that I can see that. Thank you, Gianfranco. Uh, with this note, then I will close this webinar. Uh, thank you so much for the for coming. Thank you to our sponsors again. Uh, see you soon in Darmstadt, and do not hesitate to, re to reach out to reach out to us if you have any questions regarding the event. And we hope to see you both in Darmstadt, in Darmstadt, and at the next uh, DSC Insight Series. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye. Bye-bye.